<laughs> I'm not the one. <laughs> so you say. <laughs> You're always full of the Blarney. <laughs> that's, that's another speech entirely. <clears throat> My purpose here is to evaluate Art Terry's number two, number three speech, get to the point. The purpose of this is to have a clear general purpose and a clear specific purpose. And I will address those. The general purpose is usually one of four categories, to inform, to persuade, to entertain, or to inspire. And in your speech, what I got out of it was a general purpose to inform, because what you were telling us was information that we may not necessarily have heard before. So as a general purpose, you met that goal. I like how you set up this speech in the introduction with the Toastmaster. That's a valuable tool to to set things up in terms of, okay, who are you, who am I, what's the context of this? There were very powerful elements of the speech. The, the Mike Borda story is, of course, a very, it's on the one hand an inspiring one, and then there, there was a part of his story that was left out that goes a slightly different direction. The title and the mantra of your speech was, Why Me? And this is something everybody can relate to, because I don't think there's anybody in this room or perhaps on this planet who has ever not thought, Why Me? or in whatever language that they had. And I liked how you raised your eyes and, you know, Why Me? Mm -hmm. And you, you came back to that mantra again and again, and it, would be, it was in the title, and that's a valuable technique for bringing us into it, connecting a thread throughout your speech. I, I, I've always loved your voice ever since the icebreaker speech. It's very strong it, without being overpowering. Your, your body movement was not, you didn't stay fixed in one spot. You moved, uh, I'm going to come back to that. So since this is a number three speech, I take off a few of my gloves, so I'm going to make a few suggestions. I, I would have liked to see a stronger opening. I mean, why not just, you know, why me? for example, would be one way to go. Another would be to perhaps uh, come at it from a different angle and then come back to why me. My second ha has to do with the specific of purpose of the speech. And, and I think the, the difficulty here is that I think you have at least three speeches in here. Well, one of the purposes of this project is to, is to take a speech and have, you know, what was the point of that? What is the purpose of that? And between the Mike Borda story, the operations research story, and your story, and the strategic studies group. I mean, there are at least three or four different stories in there. And so having all three of them in one, it's like, okay, now what was the purpose of that? In your, your body movement, you didn't stay still, but I would make that a little bit more deliberate. In other words, why were you moving forward? Why were you moving back? It wasn't clear, and it didn't, wasn't clear how it enhanced the speech. And then finally, your eye contact was generally good in that you focused on an individual and then moved to another individual. There were still some times you were looking down and, and breaking the contact. I would like to see more of that. So there are fabulous speeches in here. I'd like to hear more about them in future speeches, Mr. Ghostmaster. 